Hello everybody, this is an updated video demo on the Gumball of relevance to Rhino version 8. Okay, let's start. To display the Gumball handles on an object, firstly we need to enable it here and then select the object. And let's talk about the most essential functions of the Gumball, which is what is on display here basically this is the move handle this is the rotate handle and then this is the scale handle okay if you for example want to move this object in this direction you can drag this handle and then you are able to perform the transformation in this direction likewise if I want to rotate this object in this direction I can click on this and then drag similarly if I want to scale this object in this direction I can drag like that okay, okay what if I want to perform let's say a precise movement instead okay to do that instead of dragging you click on the relevant handle and then I wait for the input window to appear okay for example let's say I want to move this thing 20 units forward I can type 20 press enter and you can see yeah yes move 20 units forward okay and similarly if I want to do the rotation I can click and let's say I want to have a 60 degree rotation I can press enter and then you rotate 60 degree along this direction okay something like that and then similarly for scaling let's say i want to scale this in this direction twice its original length you can click and then you type 2 press enter yep you get something like that okay you notice that there is uh, this widget over here Okay, this is a move planner widget okay what this does is that okay let me just turn on the full view okay what this does is that i'm able to perform can you see a uh, movement free movement of the object on the designated plane okay can you see that on in the top view the object is moving on the specific plane okay But to be honest, I don't use this too often. Okay, beside the normal transformation, the gumball can also be used to perform other processes such as duplication, which I'm going to demonstrate now. Okay, for example, let's say I want to make a copy of this here. Okay, you can press and hold the Alt key. Okay, which is a duplicate function working in tandem with the gumball so press and hold the alt key and then drag this arrow and then release and then you see i'm able to make a duplication of the original object okay and let me uh, show you how we can also use the gumball to perform things like um, alignments of object to existing ones okay for example let's say i want to have this object step halfway through here okay to do that what you firstly need to do is to move the center of the gumball and then also ensure that the relevant object snaps has been enabled in this case here i want to turn on the mid snap okay mid snap and i also turn on the end snap so that you can see uh, other snaps in operation as well okay so first thing first need to move this to its new location so in this case i want to move this here okay so to do that right you double click and then this freeze the center and then you can snap it here okay let me re repeat this again 
you double click okay if you are using rhino 7 you got to press and hold the control key instead of the double click and then move the center but for rhino 8 you just double click and then this frees the center and then you can move it to its, its new location based on the relevant object snap okay so i want to move it here so i will turn on the object snap the the, the mid snap okay so click here and now i can perform my object alignments okay so i want this to be placed here and to do that right i have to ensure that okay this is going to be the, the center of this part here so i'm going to ensure that the center is turned off okay so you see if i let me just show you I want to move you can see i can snap here i can snap here and if i want to move to the center you can see yeah i'm snapping yeah so i got it yeah so you can see that uh, the gumball can also be used to perform alignments of objects and perhaps even simple assembly work as well. Okay, now I want to show how we can also use the gumball to do some kind of modeling work. Okay, let me delete this. I have a rectangular curve and you can see when I'm selecting this we have additional widgets or handles appearing okay this is a cut handle and then this is an extrude handle okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, perform an extrusion of this curve here okay to do that you can press and hold the extrude function and then drag okay and then you'll be able to drag up a solid from this curve okay uh, let me repeat this again okay click and drag here okay and if you are using rhino 7 this process is slightly different okay for rhino 7 if you were to drag this you will get a surface you'll get extruded surfaces instead okay whereas in rhino 8 right if you were to drag this you get a solid okay what if i want to get open-ended extruded surface instead using the Rhino 8 gumball. To do that, right, let's hover over here. You can see from the tool tip that uh, you have to press and hold the control key to perform an open extrusion. Okay, so I'm going to press and hold the control key and drag this. And you can see, yeah, I perform an open extrusion. Okay. Let me extrude this. Okay, now I want to demonstrate the cut function on the gumball. Okay, I have a curve here. You can see? And then I want to use this curve to slice this this block here okay to do that you can use the cut function so i can select this and you can see i have like the cut functions okay this is this is the cut function so theoretically i can drag this and do a cut however you notice that nothing is happening when i'm performing this why is that so because this cut that I'm doing is not covering a large enough space to perform a slice so how, how do I ensure that in this case that I'm able to perform a cut what I can do is let's hover over here you can see that the, the tool tip says that if you want to cut on both sides you got to press and hold the shift key so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold the shift key drag this 
and then you notice yeah I'm able to perform a cut you see I perform a cut and if I have to move this yeah you notice that this original object and the cut they are both solids okay gonna delete this okay okay let me show you another way of doing cuts as well as uh, balls okay so I'm going to delete this okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle over here on this face and to do that right what I can do is I can turn on the auto C plane which is new on Rhino 8 okay Make sure you set to align to object, okay? Align to object. Select the object. However, notice that nothing really has happened. Okay, what you need to do is to be able to select this face. To do that, there's two ways of doing it. You can either go to the filter. It's very slow, okay? And turn on the sub object and then select this. Or a faster way is simply to press and hold the shift control, select this face. So I'm going to press and hold the shift control, select this face, and you notice that now the construction plane has been aligned to the face, okay? And now what I need to do is I need to like reorientate the view, okay? To do that, right mouse click, set view to the, the plan, and then we can draw our rectangle over here, okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put this here and draw it at the center. Okay, so maybe I just turn on the center. Okay, oops. Let's use this instead. Okay, so yeah, something like that. Okay, something like that. And now um, let's flip everything back to this original orientation right mouse click set view back to perspective however you notice that the construction plane is still uh, along here okay so i'm going to turn off the auto c plane yeah so it got back into this uh, original uh, view and c plane orientation okay and now let's do the let's perform a a, a cut first okay so you can uh okay now you can see that the gumball is set to the C D plane mode okay and the cut seems to have disappeared the cut handle how do you get it back to get it back you must set the alignment on the gumball to object okay so you can see if I align to our object right this cut appears okay so if i want to do a perform a cut in words right let's say let's do a precision cut instead now click on this and i want to cut downwards so i can press minus let's say 20. Okay, press enter and then you notice yeah i got the inward cut nice inward cut and this object will still be a solid okay going to do the control Z and if I want to have a boss instead that means I have an extrusion up here that is also merged with the main body right what I can do is let's select this again okay let's hover over here you can see the two tip says that to do a boss you got to press and hold the control key so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold the control key I want to let's say extrude the boss here like that maybe with a thickness of 10 so we're going to press and hold the control key type 10 enter yeah yeah so now you can see we got this boss extruded and then it's also merged with the main body as a single object with that i come to the end of this demo Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.